You don't have to be an athlete to win the gold. Play Dream for the Gold with a top prize of $10,000 and the chance to win a free jackpot gameplay. The Maryland Lottery. Let yourself play. It is a modern-day challenge for sure, juggling kids and jobs and all the extra activities that go along with life. What is a busy family to do? Well, we put that question to an organizational expert. News 4's Megan McGrath is one of those experts, and she joins us now with some time-saving tips that can make your day less hectic. Megan, good morning. Well, I wish I was one of those experts. I'd have a tough time myself, and it is tough. In many households, both parents work, kids are involved in multiple sports, and just getting out of the house in the morning can be a major achievement. We found one such family, the Jaberts, and we hooked them up with a time management expert. Many of the tips are universal and can help out any busy family. The Jabert family day begins before the sun comes up. With two active teenagers and parents with full-time jobs, it has to. 15-year-old Haley plays one sport. Her 14-year-old brother Harrison plays four. Kathy and Joseph Jabert say they need to streamline their life. I can't really think about too many days in a row. And so when the morning comes, I think, okay, what's today? And how do I manage that? Can you pick him up here? Can you pick her up there? Can you drop them off? And Organization expert Scott Rower of Solutions by Scott watched the Jaberts as they went about their morning and offered some ideas for them and other busy families. So he's giving you some instruction. This is what Scott suggests having an erasable calendar where the weekly schedule can be posted for all to see. The Jaberts have one that lists the kids' activities and when Joseph is away on business, but it doesn't list Kathy's obligations. And Scott says it's hanging in the wrong place. The calendar is all the way upstairs. So in the morning, when they're actually gathered together as a family and having their shakes in the morning, they can't review the calendar very easy. So number one, they need to move the calendar to a more central location. Like the Jaberts, many families with active kids have packed schedules and must juggle several pickups and drop-offs a day. Scott suggests families have a weekly meeting, perhaps Sunday night, so everyone can discuss what's ahead. Our family admits that advanced planning is not their strong suit, neither is consistency. I don't exactly know where we go wrong because a lot of times we're down here on time and stuff and then we get out of the car and it's like 10 minutes later than we were supposed to leave and we're like, what just happened? Every busy family has to prioritize and decide what's important and what's not. Eliminate the stuff that doesn't make the cut and focus on what does. The Jaberts want to have dinner at home more often, but they're so busy that meal planning rarely happens. Scott suggests doing the grocery shopping online and having the food delivered, or there are several companies that provide meals. You make your meals right there, 20 of them at a time, you freeze them, and you pull one out the night before. This is what we're going to have. And here's a look at five different things that all busy families can do to simplify their lives. First, post and keep a calendar and be sure to update it. Identify your priorities. You can't do everything, so don't overcommit. Plan ahead. Don't try to wing it. This cuts down on chaos and share household responsibilities. Everyone should clean up and help with chores. And, of course, use technology, as you heard Scott talk about. Get a coffee pot with a timer so you don't have to spend time making coffee if that's taking too much time in the morning. Or do your grocery shopping online, little things like that. There's a lot of different things out there that you can do. They're easy, they're inexpensive, and they do save time. I think that calendar is a great idea. I need a calendar. I, know, I, I don't I, have one. I buy one every few months, every time I decide it's time to organize. And then I work on it for about a week. And Can't I tell you how many things that my daughter has missed at school because we haven't had our yeah. act together. We yeah. need a calendar, definitely. Yeah, or just I a know. list. Yeah. Amazing, amazing yeah. what a list will do yep, for you. Absolutely. Okay. Thanks a lot. Sure. Thanks, Megan.